Over the past five years, I think we've had about one hundred and hundred fifty thousand pounds worth of funding from industry just to scan parts because they want to look at what's going on inside the material. This project is a project for developing a project demonstrator for the Strauss technology. It's been funded by Rolls Royce and East Midlands Development Agency. Um, the idea was to take a, a lab, a research instrument which fills a whole room and it's not very practical for industry to a point where industry might be interested in using the technique. So the goal was to shrink the instrumentation down and improve its data acquisition speed and um, the, the resolution and, and things like that. SRAS stands for um, Spatially Resolved Acoustic Spectroscopy. So it's, a, it's analogous uh, to optical spectroscopy when you shine light to lots of wavelengths through a, through a material and you have a look at what's transmitted at the other side. And we do a similar thing with sound waves. Engineering materials, uh, I mean, these are not just simple materials these days. They're all they're, they're highly controlled um, processes for making the materials because they're going into um, performance parts, in particular in the aerospace industry. Um, so they have to perform exactly as the people intended them to. And that, um, for that to be the case, they need to know what's going on in terms of the grain structure and the grain size, the, um, the orientation of the grains relative to one another, because all of those sorts of parameters greatly affect the strength of the material and how durable it is, how long it will last in service and things like that. Um, so it is a very important uh, thing to be able to know about. It allows the companies to know what's gone wrong. At the moment you go, okay, is, is, is it this part that failed? Right, well let's look like, well it passed its inspection and that's the only thing they know about it. They can't go back and say, right, well this is what the microstructure was at this stage and at this stage and this stage. And then it was inspected five years later and it was, this is what it looked like and it hasn't changed. From, the, from the, this sort of technique point of view, um, now we're the only ones that are working in, in this area. Um, I say there are other techniques that people are trying to do these sort of measurements with optical, um, but they have their fundamental limitations. and. The, the competing technology of EBSD is always going to be limited by size because you've got to fit it in an electron microscope. So although they're getting a lot faster and they're getting a lot very clever with the information that they, they provide, it's never going to be on a, on a, in a in an industrial setting, um, whereas SRAS has the potential to do that.